Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm here to show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the limited edition 2 disc collectors uh, release from Australia. And this is a release by a company called Umbrella and it's a out of print DVD, uh, very hard to find today. And uh, well, I was actually able to score this brand new and sealed and got it on eBay. Uh, but you know I really don't see it a lot on eBay and uh, the shipper didn't actually want to ship it here it was an Australia only auction but I uh, talked him into selling it here and uh, well I'm just uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of a weird case for stars you know you got this exterior tin case which doesn't really look like any tin case I've ever seen before but I know that this style is pretty common in Australia I've seen you know various films released in this sort of um, you know, it's basically like a tin slip case, uh, as you can tell. And for the front cover, as you can tell, we have a uh, artwork here which is very reminiscent of the uh, American DVD release, the Two Disc Ultimate Edition Steelbook. And I thought I would actually show you this just side by side, so you can compare. So yeah, yeah, I really do like it because it is it is very different uh, from the the other packaging designs I've seen. Just in terms of the of the case type, it's it's very unusual. But yeah, like I said, very American looking cover. And uh, then we also have the spine here, which as you can tell, the spine is actually sort of lowered into the case. Very, very different looking thing. But I mean, the spine is also metal. Uh, at first, you know, when it was sealed, I sort of looked at this and figured like it was a cardboard slip case inside the tin or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's actually actually a tin spine, slightly lowered. So yeah, uh, quite an unusual unusual packaging design indeed. And here we have the back cover, also done in a very sort of golden uh, glossy finish, which I think looks uh, looks really good. I'll bring it up close just to give you a bit more of a detailed look at some of the specs and the artwork and whatnot. So yeah. But anyway, uh, moving on. You'll notice that we have a seam uh, in the middle, you know, like an edge. And looking at the top, this is just all black and there's no actual seam here, so uh, basically the way they made this case is just, you know, it's just one long piece of metal uh, that's bent and sort of reattached to itself at the bottom. But now, let's just go ahead and remove the key case, which slides out very nicely here. And uh, once again, uh, a very, you know, classic design, which I think is really clever. And um, the thing that's funny about this is this is actually reminiscent of an even older uh, collector's edition from America. And of course I'm now thinking of the out of print Pioneer Special Edition which comes in uh, actually a much cooler case because this is actually embossed and sort of looks like minced meat which you know it's very detailed and very nicely done. So very different case but yeah uh, as you can tell very sort of reminiscent in terms of the overall artwork. But this is not a super jewel case like the American one. This is just a standard keep case and it's not embossed or anything, just a you know, it's just a flat print regular insert. Even so, I really do like this fresh after 30 years. I think it's just a just a brilliant marketing idea and uh, well as you can tell uh, we basically have the same artwork for the entire case, which is indeed very unusual. But yeah, you I mean you can easily tell where they got the idea for this. So uh, yeah, I'm not not that impressed, uh, being as it's been done before, and I don't really think that the uh, still fresh sticker looks as good here as it does on the other one, uh, where it is in fact a real sticker that they put on. But even so, I don't know. I like the variety, and it's you know it's it's sort of like the, the best of both worlds, sort of combining these different uh, very clever elements from other releases. So yeah, here we got the interior, and as you can tell, this is actually a reversible cover. So if you want to, you can actually flip it around and then you get like the more classic cover which looks just like the uh, the tin case. So uh, I mean that's basically up to you. I'm guessing I'm gonna keep the uh, the minced meat cover just because that's the way it was uh, first presented. And then we have the two discs and here's just a close-up shot of the first one. And flipping this over we will get a shot of the second which looks like this. But anyway, I guess that's it for me today. Like I said, this is an out of print release, very hard to find today. And uh, the tin case uh, is, you know, it's exclusive to Australia and I've never seen another country produce, uh, you know, these weird tin slip cases. But that's it for me today. Really hope you enjoyed this and as usual, hope to see you all next time.